Hi there. So today we're going to go over how to create uh, folder buttons um, using Canva, not Google Slides or, or Google Drawings. Now the reason why I've been liking Canva lately, it's because they um, introduced a Canva for Educators account. And so for this, you would need to um, apply with your school email. Uh, register you have to fill out the form and you have to submit a picture of your uh, teacher ID or any type of licensing that you may have um, and wait about three to five days in order to get approved now what canva is is a program where they have ready-made templates for you um, in terms of social media personal for resumes presentations marketing education just all these um, pre-made flyers and posters that are great for teachers and once you actually have the um, the the approval you'll see it in your billing settings and you also have a uh, classwork where you can actually have kids sign up with you and, and assign them that you have folders where you can share with your other co-workers um, and then you have your choice of all these drawings and images that are for free um, that you don't have to worry about copyright or anything um, they already have pre-made worksheets um, infographics, etc. So uh, today we're gonna get started on how to create this uh, working button, especially for our younger students or students that may have trouble uh, reading. Um, so what I'm gonna do is once I'm, I'm in my website, I'm gonna create a design and I'm gonna click on custom dimensions. So far I've been, tr I've been liking the 800 by 100 um, you're more than welcome to do it up to a thousand uh, but for today's purpose I'm just going to do 800 by 100 and then create a new design so once I'm here I'm gonna see that's very long and uh, narrow and then I can already see from the templates that they have here um, choose something that I like or it makes something that goes with my own theme correct um, you can choose to upload your own photos or images photos that canva has and if you have the educator pro account uh you'll even have access to the premium versions the ones that uh, you would normally have to pay for uh elements just like their version of clip art shapes or whatever you may you can think of they got it uh different text and they have options here for like if you have issue you know if you have trouble thinking of what looks good you can just pick one of this and just change it out styles see they already have them pre-made. Um, you can add music, you can add videos, backgrounds. Um, here's different folders you're using. And then right here where it says more, you can actually link it to other apps. So in this case, you can actually link it to Bitmoji if you want. Um, all right, so once we're done customizing to your liking, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up one that I've already made and click here. So once I'm here, I have already made them all that I like. I can just keep adding pages. So then you can just keep making them as you need right here. Um, I went ahead and did it by week right now. Let me change my icons. Don't have to do too much to it because uh, they do such a great job of, of doing the effects for you. If I don't like the way the letters look, I can always um, check uh, change all the fonts that they have. I can also do effects and I can do splice, see, hollow, verse, whatever you want they have, neon. And you could change it in and out the colors. So we'll leave it on that right now. Okay, so I, I'm satisfied, this is what I want. So I can go ahead and press download and Press PNG. I want PNG because this is made more for um, higher quality, especially for the internet. If, I don't know if you notice, sometimes images can be come out blurry on Schoology sometimes. Um, if you select the PNG, it really minimizes that. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that, and I can choose which page I want. If I only want page one or two or all 12, I can. And I press done, and then it'll download to my um, desktop. So once it's down downloading, um, and if you once you've created your folders, you're gonna go ahead and press that gear button and press edit. And once it's done loading, then you'll go ahead and start preparing. 
um, you're going to go ahead and put insert content, insert image, attach file, and select the one that you want, and then it'll pop up here. Now, if you want to change the settings, if you want to make it a little, look a little bit longer, you can always change the dimensions here. Or uh, add a border, vertical space, anything you need. And then uh, change the publishing dates and press Save Changes. There we go. And then uh, you just repeat that process over and over again. And you can always uh, go ahead and copy this to the next uh, course that you have so you don't have to repeat it. And the images should go with it. And once you do, then you'll have your first, it, this folder label with Canva makes it a lot easier. One and two, they, you don't have the risk of not, if you don't click with Google drawings, if you don't share at times, sometimes they, um, they don't show up on your, on your, on your form. But with Canva, you don't have to worry about that because you've already uploaded the image. There's no other sharing settings that you have to worry about. Um, and you have a really great selection of, of fonts and images that you can use without having to look them up or Google them or having to crop anything out. So hope this helps.